everyone this is Egalitna here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve x times x minus 1 into dy by dx minus minus of x minus 2 into y equals to x cube times 2x minus 1 solution given differential equation x into x minus 1 into dy by dx minus x minus 2 into y equals to x cube into 2x minus 1. Consider the given equation as equation 1. So here we are going to reduce the given equation to linear equation in y form. We know that the standard form of linear equation, the standard form, of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. If you notice you are having the coefficient of dy by dx is 1, right? So, in order to reduce the given equation to standard form of linear equation in y, we need to make this question to 1. For that purpose, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the whole equation with x times x minus 1. Then we'll get dy by dx minus x minus 2 into y by x times x minus 1 equals to x cubed times 2x minus 1 by x times x minus 1. Right. Or, or you can just divide the whole equation by 1 like this x minus 1 x into x minus 1 into dy by dx minus x minus 2 into y by x times x minus 1 and also rhs by x times x minus 1 right so here x and x minus 1 gets cancelled and again you'll get dy by dx minus x minus 2 into y by x into x minus 1 equals to x cubed times 2 x minus 1 by x times x minus 1. The same thing. But we are always write like this. Simply directly. We'll just write like this. Okay. Fine. So here 1x gets cancelled. You can write the above equation as if 1x gets cancelled, you will get x squared times 2x minus 1 by x minus 1. Right. So, by comparing these two, we can say that we have reduced the given equation to an equation which is linear in y, right? Which is linear in y. Now, by comparing the reduced equation to the standard form of linear equation, we'll get p and q, right? By comparing these two, we'll get p and q, where p equals to minus of x minus 2 by x times x minus 1 and q equals to x square times 2x minus 1 by x minus 1. Right. Here p and q are the functions of x. See, we, it does not involve any y. Only x times we have. So, we can say that p and q are the functions of x. Fine. Now we need to find the integrating factor. Integrating factor. We know that integrating factor of a linear equation in y is given by e power integral p dx. Right. So we will use this formula to find the integrating factor of the given equation. But we have p equals to minus of x minus 2 by x times x minus 1. So here what we'll do is we'll 
resolve this fraction that is x minus 2 by x times x minus 1 into partial fractions. So consider x minus 2 by x times x minus 1. You can just write this as a by x plus b by x minus 1. Then x minus 2 by x times x minus 1 equals to a times x minus 1 plus bx by x times x minus 1. Simply we will take the LCM of x and x minus 1. Right. Here x and x minus 1 gets cancelled. Then x minus 2 equals to a times x minus 1 plus bx. Okay. Now. Consider x minus 1 equals to 0. If x minus 1 equals to 0, then we will get x equals to 1. Right? Now put x equals to 1 in this equation. Consider this equation as equation 2. Some equation 2. Okay? Now put x equals to 1 in 2. Then we will get 1 minus 2 equals to a times 1 minus 1 plus b into 1. From this we will get 1 minus 2 is minus 1 equals to a times 1 minus 1 is 0, right? So a term becomes 0 plus b into 1 is b. So from this we will get minus 1 equals to b. That is b equals to minus 1. So we got b equals to minus 1, right? Now, we need to find the value of another unknown that is a. For that purpose, simply... We can compare the questions of, compare the question to x. Then we'll get 1 equals to ax, a plus b otherwise. Okay. Now put b equals to minus 1. Now bring this minus 1 to LHS, we'll get 1 plus 1. That is minus 1 becomes plus 1. Then we'll get a equals to 2. Or you can compare constants. What happens if you compare constants? Let's see. Minus 2 equals to a into minus 1. Minus a. From this we'll get 2 equals to a. Or a equals to 2. Okay. So we got the values of unknowns a and b. So let's substitute in in this. Then we'll get a by x that is 2 by x plus b for b equals to minus 1 by x minus 1. Then x minus 2 by x times x minus 1 equals to 2 by x plus into minus minus 1 by x minus 1, right? Then p becomes minus of 2 by x. Simply replace this fraction by this, that is partial fractions. equals to minus 2 by x minus into minus plus 1 by x or you can just write this as 1 by x minus 1 minus 2 by x. So we have reduced p to 1 by x minus 1 minus 2 by x, right? Or p equals to 1 by x minus 1 minus 2 by x. Now we are ready to integrate p. So here we are going to use the formula integral p dx, right? So firstly let's find integral p dx is equal to integral of 1 by x minus 1 minus 2 by x into dx is equal to integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx minus integral 2 by x into dx 
This is equals to integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx minus, let's write the constant outside the integral, that is minus 2 times integral 1 by x into dx is equals to, we know that integral 1 by ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a into log mod ax plus b, right, then compare these two, by comparing these two, for a equals to 1 and b equals to minus 1, we'll get 1 by ax plus b, for b equals to minus 1, we'll get 1 by a log mod ax plus b, that is x minus 1, right, minus 2 into, integral 1 by x dx is log mod x, Again, you can write this as 1 by 1 is 1 into log x minus 1 minus 2 log x. Since we know that m log n can be written as log n power n. Then you can write 2 log x as log x square. Right? Log x square. Also, we know that log a minus log b equals to log a by b. Then this becomes log a, that is x minus 1 by x square. So now coming to the integrating factor. Integrating factor equals to e power. Right, integral p dx equals to e power. We have integral p dx equals to log x minus 1 by x square. Since we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x. So from this we'll get e power log function of x equals to function of x. Right. So now we have integrating factor. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y is given by y times integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. Now, using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y times integrating factor, that is x minus 1 by x squared equals to integral q, x squared times 2x minus 1 by x minus 1 into integrating factor x minus 1 by x square into dx plus c. So here x square and x minus 1 gets cancelled is equals to integral 2x minus 1 into dx plus c. Again you can split the integral. Integral 2x dx minus integral 1 into dx is dx or minus 1 into integral dx plus c. Then, y times x minus 1 by x square equals to, write the constant outside the integral, you'll get 2 integral x dx minus integral dx plus c is equal to 2 into, integral x dx is x square by 2 minus integral dx is x plus c, here 2 gets cancelled, this is equal to x square minus x plus c. Therefore, y times x minus 1 
by x square equals to x square minus x plus c is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand this. See you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.